If you've ever gotten a hole in your radiator, you know how big of a challenge it is to fix it. I'll go through all the techniques that people use to fix radiators, which I have not found to work. Then I'll show you an unconventional method that I used that I've gotten about 50,000 miles on and it's still going. First, I'll go through the three techniques that I have not found to work. Epoxy glue, JB Weld just breaks right off. And I wanted this brazing rod to work, but it didn't either. I use this acetylene torch with every flux that I read about and never got it to stick, at least under high pressure. Each time I attempted a repair, I put a pressure test on the radiator because I don't want to put the radiator back on the car and have it fail. So I plug up one side of the radiator and then I use a bicycle pump to pump it up to about 50 PSI. Then I would set it in the bathtub underwater and watch for bubbles. So after all the conventional methods failed, I had nothing to lose, so I figured I'd try something unconventional. Now it may not be pretty, but it worked. So I'll explain what I did. So I cut the radiator where the hole was, then I took a pair of needle nose pliers and I rolled up both ends. At the time, this was a brand new radiator, just got a hole, I was ready to just throw it away and put in a new one. Literally a last ditch effort. So I rolled up both ends like a tube of toothpaste. Then when I ran the pressure test, it actually held. I was actually a little embarrassed about the repair that I did and I figured I'd just get a new radiator. Then I figured it's not leaking, nobody can see it. 50,000 miles, I pull it off for some other maintenance and it's still holding like a champ. If the folks at the radiator shop saw this, this would be the joke of the day. All I know is that this is a hundred bucks I didn't have to spend. It's still working, so I'm gonna put it back together. Now in no way am I suggesting that you take your radiator, cut it, roll it up like this, but if this happened to me again, I would do it. Ugly as it is, the proof is in the pudding. I am not looking forward to hearing all the comments from all the people at the radiator shops why this is a bad idea. Yes, I know I eliminated one of the coiling fins, but the car never overheated. So if you've got comments, good or bad, go ahead and throw them down below. I can take it. Well, I really appreciate your time and thanks for watching.